good. Thousand horsepower. <laughs> Everyone's very early. Or maybe I'm late, I don't know. So straight away we've got three S15s, yellow, white and blue, and an MX-5. And I'm obviously, as you can tell, in the Cobra. I've got the E36 in front. Everyone's prepping down their cars in front of Rolls-Royce HQ. Hopefully no big lorries need to pull in. Ah, oh, check out the 356. We're here for Players Classic. And this is a two-day event, and today there will be things going on on the track. So that's why this is here. That's wicked. Oh, R32 wide body. Sounds incredible. Got the Evo behind as well. Take a look at this Rover estate with three spokes. We've got the slammed RX-7 making a few pops on its arrival. Next around in front of that awesome little Peugeot, we've got this wide arch C63. That is a Liberty Walk body kit on the C63, and that is a diesel Peugeot. We've got the Willys Jeep turning up with another 300ZX. It's the year of the 300ZX. Oh, very yellow VXR. And a Nova Saloon behind the 300. And an MX-5 in a colour that we all approve of. <laughs> oh look, it matches! Again, even more. He's got a bumper hanging out of his window, and it's not his bumper. It's the wrong. It's the it's the car behind's bumper. Look, there you go. It's his bumper. Oh, check out the E46. You see, that's what friends are for: carrying your mate's bumper when your mate's too low to go over a road. There we go. Another estate car in blue with three spokes, the Civic Aero Deck, and a revving Hillman imp in front. Even the mopeds are slammed here. That's what we're all about. <laughs> There's an E30 touring track car, another S14. So many S bodies on the scene. Beautiful to see them. Morning. There's a PS13 with a door open. There's a Capri. There's an Austin Healy frog eyed Sprite. Bit warm in there. Oh, I love that little Austin Healy. The smallest car on the road at the moment, especially in front of that van. We've got the FC RX7 as well. Mr. Two's behind. And a Toyota Mark II. Two. How about this though, a dark green R32. Love that, an olive green. Very vibrant A45 behind. Volkswagen Beetle. Ah, wide bodied Mini. How about that? So we now have quite a bit of a queue in both directions. The gates have now opened, so hopefully it will open up traffic a little bit more. These chaps have got their Aussie hats on, ready for the show. <laughs> their course is also rather ready for the show. This R8 has left his rear bumper at home. Is he displaying turbos? Can't see any. I can hear some bridge porting. Oh yes, that is how an RX-7 should sound. The 240Z's got F40 rear lights. I haven't seen that before. I think it's an improvement. I mean, I'd imagine they've come off a cheaper Ferrari, but still, they look cool. There goes the R8 again. I don't think it's turbo, it's just... No, it's not turbo. <laughs> Looks cool. Oh, we're getting it. Yes, the yellow combo. The Exige Series 2. Exige S as well. Supercharged. Got some hydraulic suspension behind. Bouncing around on the rear. <laughs> Look at <laughs> They've got like springs under the front seat, so they were bouncing inside as well. Oh look, it's the mental doctor, all the way from Belgium. There are a lot of colours coming around the corner, and a lot of years as well, from new and old. And behind this beautiful Beetle van, we've got a thing. It's a Volkswagen Kubelwagen, otherwise known as a Volkswagen thing, hence why I called it a thing. And we've got another yellow combo, including an R32 Ho. Ah, oh, what a day! Uh, what a d I don't know which car said that, but... That is not a standard fitment you'd see on a Subaru. I think it's the Subaru making noises. Subaru behind is making different type of noises. So is the Civic. Oh, check out the exhaust on the Subaru as well, and the flashy lights. Also, are they 370Z wheels? And a spoiler as well, and a <laughs> Many noises, oh, more noises over there. Oh, well that sh shocked us. That one didn't shock us because we knew it was coming. I've just noticed this also has a Z badge on it. It's got Nissan brakes and it sounds like a 370Z. 
they've named it the Ford F-170Z. I reckon that's a 370Z with a Ford F-150 body on and a spoiler. I need to hear some revolutions to confirm it. Yeah, that's what it is. Wow. <laughs> it's more than just wheels. That is a 370Z. Yeah. We heard the first time, matey. I think these minis are overheating a little bit in traffic. They're being pushed down the hill. Taking a look at another angle, you can really see the variety of colours. We've got yellow, pink, minty green and yellow at the back as well. But it was an early start this morning to get here. I wanted to come here before the cars arrived, but we've got the majority of them. A little bit hungry, because I was in a rush. I've got a white food and they have sponsored today's video and this flavour, if you like pina colada, you're going to love this. This is the new pina colada lassi Y food and this is going to be my breakfast. It can fill you up for between three to five hours but it can be lunch or dinner as well. It's the most convenient way of filling you up if you're on the go like I am. Oh, I'm being shouted at. Let's try pina colada. Oh, I love pina colada. That is, that is delicious. I mean, mango lassi, pina colada lassi, they're up there. They're my favourites now. So this has 26 vitamins and minerals in it. We've got another estate car with three spokes. And it's both lactose and gluten free. So to check it out for yourself and get 10% off, click the link in the video description and use Adam10. So you too can have some pina colada for breakfast. So we've got a very wide arch BMW 1 Series and a local taking pictures of it behind. He's loving the scene. We've got the DC5 as well. Check out the exhaust on the 1 Series as well. It's got two of different sizes. Oh! There you go, external turbo on the Beatles. Wow. This couple have come to the wrong show if they're expecting to go BMXing today. There goes the Pandem GC86 and here comes a Sora. It seems to be the year of three spokes as well. Unusual to see them on a car that isn't an estate car because that's been the theme today so far. We've got a V8 in the E36 M3. My oh my, take a look at the Jensen Interceptor with apparently 3,000 horsepower. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do we believe that it's got 3,000 horsepower? That's that's the question. Maybe we'll find out once we're in the show. That is wild. It's got wide arches as well. Never seen that before. That's what I mean. You get all sorts of builds at this show, including a Toyota Chaser JZX100 and Mr. Two with three spokes. This E61 5 Series is two-tone. We've got chameleon and white, and then an R33 GTR V spec and a yellow Subaru. J Fini and J left my fan on. Let's just turn that off. There you go. Oh look, a V10 Audi RS6. Very loud as well. I heard some turbo flusses. It's Simon's Asher VXR. Take a look at that. We've got the S15 behind it. R34 as well. Rocket Bunny 350Z. That looks warm. Toasty. Have you got aircon? Oh, you have? Side pipes on the rear. So it's a matte black R34 four door with the Rocket Bunny 350Z behind. And we've got a Nissan Pow. Simon's warm again. <laughs> Surprised the seatbelt can reach that far. You've done well. Oh look, a yellow RX-7. Blop, 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 blop. Yes, yes, another nice sounding RX-7. Those wheels are massive, but they look great, probably because they're white. Oh look, DDM Historics is arriving as well in his 993. There's a dog in the Beetle. Oh, he's got a little bow tie on. Back to front, but still cool. We've got the JZX81 Mark II. I think I've got that right. We've got the Escort RS Cosworth. We've got a yellow S15 Varietta. Got the GT86 and a green M2 something I. And next, a baby blue S14 looking incredible. <laughs> Happy to be at the show. They were meant to be at my show, but they didn't quite make it. Are we having cooling issues in the Mustang? We're also having visibility issues in the Mustang. And behind the Gallardo, we have a Mini without a wind. Well, it's got two windscreens, no roof, rear roll bars. It's got a completely smooth rear end as well. Just the fuel cap poking up out the top. So there goes the Mini. The Supergera has stopped up to help an overheating friend. And we have a GR Yaris with white wheels and a central exit exhaust. Making some noises. I believe there's a Cobra somewhere in traffic. I'm waiting for that. We've got forged carbon wings on the front as well. The Seat's pretty modified too. So here comes the Mustang making it under its own steam, side pipes and all. I believe the driver's looking out the window for visibility. And here we have the Cobra. There we go. I could get the combo of the two of them, but we'll watch it as it drives by. 
Number eight, and then my number 88 somewhere in the distance. And next, a Ferrari 355. The chap in the two CVs come to the wrong show if he wants to go surfing. Although it's certainly the humid weather for it. I'm gonna burn nicely today, like a roast chicken. And what do you know? We have a white Toyota Chaser, because everyone loves a white Chaser. Look, they're all looking at it, they're all loving it. We're loving it, they're loving it inside. And behind the white Chaser, we've got the CRV, and we are pushing the Golf around the roundabout so it can make its entrance. The Cobra's still providing some noises. I bet. Take the roof off. <laughs> Do you reckon we'll be pushing it all the way into this show? It's probably about a mile or half a mile, maybe. Oh look, he can open his rear window for better cooling inside. We've got the old Skyline 2000 GT as well. I think they actually are pushing the Golf all the way to the entrance of the show. They're still going. That 370Z is hugging the floor. A nice sounding R32, another S15 Varietta as well. <laughs> We've got an E30 and a wide E21 behind it. Oh, more revolutions. A wide Citroen as well. I'm liking the lowered 944 as well. And next up, we have a Lilac Wide Arch Mark V Toyota Supra. That looks phenomenal. That won Best in Show, a recent show I went to, and you can tell why. This chap's doing it properly. <laughs> you player. Oh, look, another car that everyone loves. And what's that behind? Another RX-7, this time in red. And talking of nice sounding cars. <laughs> Wait for it. Oh, I heard the flames. I didn't see the flip. There they are. Oh, look, even more three spokes. And are my eyes deceiving me? Is that a pink chaser? Does everyone love the pink chaser? Let me know in the comments. Do you love that pink chaser? I love the pink chaser. There's bits of purple on it as well. well that's different. Oh, there you go. It's blended down to purple at the rear. Bit of airbrushing going on there. Well, there you go. A chaser that isn't white. I'm enjoying that. Oh, he's putting into Rolls Royce. Okay. But the traffic seems to be thinning now, so I'm going to hop into the Cobra, join this queue, and then head in for the show and cross. Look, there's no cars. Ooh. Suddenly, who's revving? It was the Golf. So I must remember to turn on the fan because it's not currently working on the thermostat. So I need to do it manually. So little switch. There we go. It's on. Let's go. So I'm going to have to do a bit of parallel parking and a three point turn, or maybe a five or eight point turn. Uh, I'm not getting around there. I'm just going to go across the pavement. Why not? Oh, I'm squeaking. You're cutting it. I'm actually currently in a race with a man. He's on foot. I'm in the car. He's actually winning at the moment, which is annoying. Ah, my friends who pushed the golf like half an hour ago have finally returned from the exit or the entrance. That's how far and how long they've been there for. Hey, we are watching cars arriving. The Monaro behind is giving a revolution and uh, we are heading into the show, but that will be in a separate video, the walk around of Players Classic. So I hope you enjoy that video of the cars arriving. Go follow me on Instagram for the updates and highlights and pictures of these things that I do. But for now, thanks for watching.